Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the audio drift or out of sync issues with footage taken on your iPhone. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're going to take a look at the audio drift or audio out of sync when capturing screen recordings or video footage from your iPhone. Now this is quite a common problem uh, due to the way that iPhone actually uses the system to its optimum availability and actually will drop frames like crazy or add frames like crazy when necessary to, to ensure smooth footage and playback. But when you put it into a video editing software or you're trying to play back on your PC, you can find that because of the way that most systems work, they're looking for a constant bitrate rather than a variable bitrate. So the audio and video can tend to drift out of sync. Or in some cases, if you're doing a screen recording from an iPhone, you can find that the audio just purely and simply doesn't match up at all. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how to fix it. And it's actually very cost effective. In fact, it's completely free. So let's go and take a look. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is to get a download of Handbrake. Handbrake is a free to use software. So if you open up Google Chrome and you can just type in Handbrake. And this is on handbrake.fr and you can download the version that you need. So obviously go ahead, get the version you want. Generally it will automatically detect whether it's Windows or Mac or whatever. So download it and install that. It's very simple to do, it's just an executable file. You can install that wherever you want. And when you've done that, you'll have an icon or a shortcut in your start menu. So we'll open up Handbrake. And the first thing we want to do is to drop a file in or you can drag a file or you can choose one just by clicking on File, Open a Single Video File. And because I've already done this previously with my uh, How to Create a Festive Santa Emoji on iOS 13 video, uh, it's gonna go straight back to the last place that it was opened. So here is our screen recording from the iPhone. So we'll choose that one and click Open. And I'll quickly analyze it and take a look at it. So here is our footage and it gives you all the information such as uh, the summary. A line AV start, you definitely want that tick there. And the most important bit we want here is the video and audio. So if these settings are all the rest, you can pretty much ignore. Uh, for now, this preset, Fast 1080p 30, will change in a minute anyway. But this is the kind of defaults it starts. So first thing to do is in video. So you can leave the codec is H.264, that's fine. We're gonna be importing into Adobe Premiere. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can adjust your quality if you want to here. Uh, lower quality, placebo quality, etc., etc. Generally, it will automatically detect what is uh, right for you. But here we can change our frame rate. So I generally use 50 frames per second because we're in the UK and because of the kind of lighting and all that kind of thing. You can choose over 25 or 24 frames per second or 48 or 50. I prefer 50, that's what I generally work with. So I'm gonna change that to that. But this is the important bit, constant frame rate. So at the moment it's set to peak frame rate, but we want constant frame rate. So we'll put a, chip, a tick box there. Now in audio, depending on what you've done, uh, if you put it on this tick box, you may find that there is two sections. So you have unknown ACC and there'll be another channel as well. So a channel zero and a channel one. So if you've recorded with the onboard mic and also there is an application running on the phone, such as gameplay or something, you'll have those as two different streams of audio. Uh, you can then separate those if you wanted to, or you can omit them entirely up to you. But if you do put them both in, at least when you're in Adobe Premiere, you can choose which one you wanna use and you can mix them accordingly. Anyway, so back to video. So we're happy with our settings here. So this is the important one, constant frame rate. And then all we do is click on starting code. Now you can, if you want to, you can actually preview at this point. So you can click on preview. It'll bring up a, a preview, pre-render it, and it'll show you what your output is gonna be like. And you can see whether your audio is gonna be in sync or not. But uh, I'm happy that those settings are gonna work for me as I've used it quite a few times. So all I need to do is click on uh, start encode. Now by default, it will actually save it uh, back to where it was originally. I'm gonna actually change that, so we'll hit browse, and this is in PC My Video, so I'll just put Santa Video fixed, and we'll hit OK or save. So now it's changed our location, so we can hit Start Encode, and this won't take very long at all. Generally, Handbrake works very well. This is being used on a Ryzen 5 3600 system, so it's gonna be quite nippy. Your system obviously might be a little bit slower or it might be a little bit faster, but generally it doesn't take too long at all. That section of footage was, I think, a couple of minutes at most. 
and it looks like it's going to take probably about a minute to do that so we'll let it carry on doing that okay so now that's finished so now we're ready we can actually open up adobe premiere drag the footage in and everything should synchronize absolutely perfectly okay so there's a relatively easy way of making sure that your footage from your iphone the screen recorder or actually from the video footage is perfectly in sync and is able to be edited in premiere with no problems whatsoever if you've got any comments, questions, or anything like that, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.